Hello everybody, this is Beetleman69. I seen a, a, a YouTube video, a couple of them, uh, regarding this um, little invention called the Vinyl Vac. It's basically a piece of PVC pipe with a slit cut in the, bo cut in the bottom of it. Uh, basically to clean your records. Um, they're asking $30 for it, and it's called the vinyl bag. And I just don't feel feel like it's worth $30. I'll be honest with you. Um, I'm not putting this product down. I know it probably works, but price-wise, it's too much. Um, I may give them $10 for it, but that's it. Uh, it ain't really worth $30 for $5 piece of P or $2 piece of PVC pipe. Because I think I got... Five, maybe less than five dollars tied up in mine. So basically, I'm going to demonstrate to you my homemade vinyl vac, if you will. Um, and so here we go. I'm going to um, start with this. Um, I also included a picture of the vinyl vac. If you have not seen it, it'll come shortly before I show you this dirty record. So sit tight. All right, um, I'm going to play this dirty uh, Credence Clearwater Revival record, Bayou Country. We're going to play a little snippet of the audio and to see how dirty this bad boy really is, because I know I've never cleaned it. <laughs> I hear all that crackling and popping. All right, I'm gonna take it take it over to the cleaning area and uh, we'll take it from there. Hold on just a second. All right, um, this is an old turntable that I no longer use. Um, that's why I don't throw things away. Uh, basically, I just got a microfiber towel cloth whatever you want to call it cut it to uh roughly about the size of the platter cut a hole in the middle stuck it in there basically just keep the record clean when i'm cleaning them even though i clean the platter still you, you might be contaminants on there so i just use this towel all right um first i just first I, first off i'll go ahead and set this record on here all right um Based on what you saw, basically this is what I made. This is the bottom. Got a slit cut in the bottom with some felt to keep them scratching the record up. Uh, there's a hole. Their product, they have a hole drilled only in one hole. I got two because I got that tall spindle on my record, on this old record player. So it has to go all the way through. So I cut, cut drilled the hole all the way through. Um, and I just got this piece of pipe, short piece to go in my uh shop back that'll that's like an adapter to fit this in here everybody shop jack shop um shop back sorry is different um they use a one gallon one i do not own a one gallon one at, the, at this point in time so basically i got this big old one right here <coughs> excuse me but i guess the job done <coughs> and i also made one for my 45s Basically, the same principle applies. Um, the whole cut the way through, and then the slice, the slit, and and the velvet uh, on there. Velvet, felt. Sorry, felt on there. Um, basically, how I cut that slit, <clears throat> I just got a drill, a small drill bit, drilled a couple of holes side by side to get it, get it, kind of get it started. And then I used my jigsaw and cut the slit in there with my jigsaw. So that's how I got that made. So basically, like I said, I mean, you, you get you might have five bucks tied up in this when it's all said and done. All right. Um, uh, basically, um, I use this uh, 
Rain X, put on my records to um, clean all the gunk and whatnot. I've been using it. I haven't had no problems with it. Um, Y'all can use whatever you want, but this is basically what I've been using. So, that being said, I'm going to go ahead and apply this. All right. Go ahead and apply the Rain X, my solution here. And then I'm use this uh, little record cleaning brush to kind of smear it around. Get down in the grooves. All right. Now basically, go ahead, put this on here. Sorry, I'm, all this extra noise. I'm doing this thing one-handed, so. All right, now I'm going to turn the vacuum on, so it's going to get noisy for a second. Pull this off. Alright, I'm gonna pull the record off. I'm gonna pause this. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Alright, also as a disclaimer, if these records have any kind of vinyl imperfections, you're still gonna get some noise. It's the nature of the beast, when especially when you're buying secondhand records. But basically, um, but for this demonstration, we're going to see how clean it is. So let's go. We'll first start on the first track. First track into the second one, we're real crackly. is a little bit quieter than it was before. Much better. Even the even the quality of the uh, record sound, the quality of the sound is a lot better than it was prior to um, me. 
Well, there you have it. It was a lot better uh, the second time around when I cleaned it than before. Um, granted, the uh, beginning of the record was still a, lot, a little noisy, but, uh, you know, that's to be expected on secondhand records. The people don't take care of them well as they should. But once I got into the track itself, uh, you notice there was no noise. Um, the quality of the music was a lot better. Um, going from track one to track two, it was a little bit quieter. Granted, it had a pop or two, but that could be imperfections in the vinyl. You know, the record is uh, um, about as old as I am, about 47 years. So, you know, all the abuse it may have taken over, over time and whatnot. But whether you use theirs or make your own at home, um, it works. It cleans your records deeply because basically if you just spray some stuff on there and wipe it, you're basically maybe just pushing the dirt around. Um, it may not be getting it all up and then you can play it back and then it's all still still um, dirty. So if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. I appreciate everybody watching. Thank you for all thank you to all my new subscribers that I've been getting. Appreciate you guys. Uh, appreciate all my current subscribers. Thank you for watching as well. And y'all have a great day. And I'll see you on the flip side.